Can't decide on your first generative AI or large language model project? Well, don't worry, I'm here to help. Most companies start with one of three initial projects and we're gonna pick yours. Let's get into it. Because generative AI and LLMs are such incredible technologies, it is easy to become overwhelmed with your options. Fortunately, you can simplify by selecting from the most popular projects. First, automated document processing, a capability to transform text like contracts or emails using NLP techniques, such as summarization, classification, or entity extraction. Second, retrieval augmented generation or RAG, creating document embeddings for powerful text search or Q&A capabilities. Third, unified natural language query, using LLMs to get insight from structured data without knowing SQL. Let's look at some basic demos performed with GPT-4 using only prompt instructions. The first is automated document processing. We extracted the basis of presentation section from publicly available company SEC filings. We then automatically process each one by summarizing the content, extracting key entities, and performing text classification by assigning a transparency score. These common NLP tasks can all be done with a single message to the LLM. We can also include a person in the workflow to review and edit. The second capability is Retrieval Augmented Generation, or RAG. Imagine a bank's compliance officer who needs to keep thousands of internal policies consistent with thousands of continuously changing regulations, such as the 400-page MSRB rulebook. By creating embeddings of both the rulebook and policies, the compliance officer can retrieve sections of each that are closest together in meaning. For example, MSRB Rule G21D most closely addresses the bank's policies on appropriate advertising. We can use this approach to trace every regulatory rule to every policy, a massive time saver. These embeddings can also be used for document Q&A. An employee can ask, do I have to disclose volunteer time that I do for my church? The embeddings allow us to retrieve the relevant sections and use the LLM to generate the answers. Finally, let's look at Unified Natural Language Query. Picture a bank manager who wants to ask questions about customer behavior. The LLM has access to tables with information about customers, products, and accounts. The manager asks, who has most recently opened a checking account? The application uses LLM agents to generate SQL and determine the customer's name is John Thompson. Unified Natural Language Query is so powerful because it unlocks the data across your company and provides users with a simple interface for getting answers without learning SQL. These are the three most common initial generative AI projects, and I cover each in greater depth in episodes 1, 2, and 3. Let's now decide which one is best for you. This diagram describes the trade-off between impact and effort. Automated document processing is the easiest because it uses straightforward calls to the large language model. However, the results are usually incremental efficiency improvements. RAG solutions enable complex data connections and unlock hidden value. However, the challenge of parsing document structure is frequently overlooked in simple examples. Finally, Unified Natural Language Query is the most complex because of the LLM's context window size limitations. However, it is the biggest impact and the holy grail of business intelligence. Success requires choosing a first project that considers the LLM's limitations, a subset of data, and a constrained business problem. These guidelines should help you select an initial project, but don't expect high confidence. Pick a project, get going, and change direction as you learn. You will make progress by executing, not talking. Every day I encounter opportunities and challenges with generative AI in our client projects, and I turn them into videos for you. Unfortunately, 90% of the AI videos on YouTube don't consider these real-world scenarios, and many offer terrible advice. So join our community of builders by subscribing to this channel and signing up for our weekly email newsletter so you don't miss a critical video. Now watch this next video on AI strategy. It will tell you how to pitch your first AI project and get it funded.